All right, guys, today I'm going to talk about spin on the forehand and the backhand, and it might be a little bit different than what you're aware of already. Now, you probably are familiar with when you're hitting a forehand, the racket's going to come up the ball like this, and essentially the ball will come across the racket head this way, not this way. If you, hit, if you feel like the ball is sliding across the racket head this way, that's going to be that side spin shot that you're probably not that happy with. I tend to get that sometimes on the backhand side where it's sliding this way, and ideally you want the, the ball to be coming this way across the racket head. If you're hitting a slice, it's going to be going this way, right? Now, if the ball gets out of your, com out of your strike zone, I shouldn't say comfort zone, but strike zone to where it's higher or lower, you're going to have to change your swing path, but still keep this relationship where the ball is sliding across the racket head this way. So if I'm hitting a low forehand, I'm coming this way around the ball, dropping the tip of the racket, and again, this is the same, and this allows me to not only get the spin that I want, but to be able to maneuver my arm in the most natural and fluid way possible to create that racket speed and just to have that just effective, smooth kinetic chain that we're all looking for. See if you can see it bending. If I get it right on that sideline, see if you can bend it into the alley and back into the court. There it is. Now, if the ball is higher, it's the same thing. I need to raise the tip of the racket, especially if it gets really high, and feel like the, hand, the racket is above the hand, and I can move the racket this way across the ball, keep this same relationship, and feel like I can move the racket freely this way. Whereas if I did this, I'm gonna hit either a lot of topspin, or probably not get a lot of power, because this isn't a power position, this is, right? This is, this is not very, strong this is strong this is like me arm wrestling where i'm pretty strong with the racket up here and i can get that spin i'm looking for but i can also just maneuver my arm pretty quick to get that racket speed and to hit that powerful shot now it's the same on a, a slice i slice a lot of high backhands i'm always trying to come around this ball again the ball's going to come across the racket head this way right and i'm going to be sliding around it this way. Regular slice here, we all know what that should look like. When the ball is low, I'm cutting across that ball a little bit. Anytime that ball is low, you're gonna see the pros cutting across, ball's gonna slide across the racket, ball might fade this way a little bit. And again, it's a natural way for me to move my arm in these positions, as opposed to, let's say, I try to keep the same slice that everyone's familiar with up here, this becomes a little bit awkward and it's not a strong position as if the arm is low and the racket is high. That's how you're going to be able to generate that racket speed. And again, get that spin that, you, uh, that you're looking for and that you're familiar with to allow you to really manipulate and control that tennis ball. I'll just leave you guys with a clip of Nitsan doing the same thing on his two-handed backhand. You can see how the head of the racket is above his hands. That's going to give him a lot more power in that position and he's able to work the racket head like I've been speaking about throughout this video. This summer, me and Nitsan are gonna be traveling around the country for 10 weeks in my RV. We're gonna be working on his game, making some technical adjustments and trying to get him ready for the pro tour. I think you guys are gonna really enjoy seeing how we reshape Nitsan's forehand and his serve in particular. Seeing how we can create an overlap from the coaching court to competition so that he can start to execute in tough situations and then go and test it against players all around the country from California to Vermont. If this sounds interesting to you, I want you to go to the description below and click the link. That's going to give you access to a lot more of the content that we're going to be producing over the next three months.